Hi everybody! Today I'm going to be talking about another website that you can use to help you learn some German. Today we're talking about Babadom. Babadom is a website where you can go and play some little games where you uh, learn about 1500 words in various languages. They have quite a long library of different languages and all you have to do is hit the little button that says play and then pick your language off to the right hand side there and once you've picked your language then it will come up with the default version here which is four pictures and one word. It says the word out loud to you and then you have to figure it out what it is that it says there. Your second option for picking out some kind of a game to play is four words and one picture, so you have to pick out the right word from the list based on the picture that you're given. Your third version is actually basically the same thing as your first version, and that is a audio file with four pictures rather than just having the words out in front of you. And if you want to hear it again, you can hit the little button that says play, and it'll play that same word again for you. Option number four gives you a picture and a list of letters, and you have to type out or pick out which letters it is that goes in the right order, so you can either click on them or you can actually type it all out uh, using your keyboard. And the last version here is a mixture of the other four, so it gives you a variety of the different ones. So it'll give you one that has a word and four pictures, or it'll give you a picture and four words, or it'll give you an audio file and four pictures, or it'll make you type out the uh, word in here. So uh, any of those four could show up at any point, and it doesn't really tell you which one's going to show up and when. It just does everything at random. Now if you want to keep track of the way that you've been doing so far, you can go in here and hit the little sign in button and you can have an email here or a nickname. Uh, I've already set up an account here. And then once you sign in, it'll come up and tell you how well you've been doing so far and it'll give you an overall rating, which is kind of fun. Now I don't know exactly how they came up with the 1500 words that they use for this particular website. Uh, it seems like it was pretty arbitrary. In fact, of several of the words on this list, I would probably deem completely useless as far as things that you will actually use. For instance, thimble and some other ones. Uh, but some of the words are good words to know. Uh, I do have a few complaints though. First of all, I would like them to actually say the dare word or the article in front of whatever word it is whenever they're saying the words out loud. It would just add a little bit more consistency to it, and also it helps for memory purposes that they hear the dare words in front of the nouns. So that would be really helpful if they would do that. Also, this actually causes them to have at least one error that I've noticed, and that is uh, things like the United States. That actually has an adjective ending in the middle of it, and that changes based on what case and number it would be. If there's a dare word in front of it, it takes die Vereinigten Staaten, which is plural and has an en at the end of Vereinigt. Now, if it doesn't have the dare word in front of it, it becomes Vereinigte Staaten, which means that whenever they typed it out, they had d in front of it and they had the e at the end of the adjective ending, which is technically wrong, uh, but whenever they say it out loud, they actually did get it right and say Vereinigte Staaten. Vereinigte Staaten. But if they would add that little bit of consistency with the dare words, they wouldn't have that type of problem. Also, I'd like to see a lot more verbs on the list than there are. There's a bunch of nouns, but there aren't very many verbs. There's a few here and there for adjectives and like three prepositions, but for the most part, they're almost exclusively nouns. And while that is helpful, I would like to see a little bit more variety in the parts of speech that they have on this website. And my other complaint is a little bit petty because it's not really my website, but some of the pictures are vague at best. This could be a river, or it could be a path, but since the word is Stepfat, I assume it's a path. Although, it could be a river that goes through the middle of a forest, so I don't really know. And some of them are mildly inappropriate. They just seem odd that you would have this on a website that looks like it would be kid-friendly, and then you all of a sudden have Brüste. This picture, I think, could have been done more tastefully, we'll say. Or the uh, dog pooping and peeing. Um, it just seems a little odd to me that you would put those on there as just random pictures in the list. Some of the pictures are a little vague. You don't really know what they are. For instance, uh, the picture for Pfirsich. I don't really know like if that's supposed to be a Pfirsich or if that's supposed to be a Pflaume. I don't really know. I do have one other thing, and that is that... The word for handy or cell phone is, according to this, a mobile telephone, which is a legitimate word for a cell phone, but most people that I've ever heard call it a handy. So that's my other complaint. Other than that, though, this website seems to be one of the cooler websites that you can go to and just kind of play around and learn some vocabulary. Uh, it's not going to get you, like, fluent by any means. It's not going to get you to learn a long list of vocabulary. But what it will do is get you to practice the language a little bit, get used to recognizing it. And since it's spoken by native speakers, you can actually get native speaking words for these things.
That's all I have for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this kind of video, go ahead and click on that subscribe button and you can see me review all kinds of stuff. Thanks for watching. Bye now.